This is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com. A Nebraska lawmaker has filed a lawsuit in federal court against the Nebraska Bar Association, arguing that he doesn't think that dues should be mandated from all lawyers in the state. Well, we had a chance to sit down with members of the Nebraska Bar Association who said that they simply disagree. Well, I've got to start by saying that the specifics of the lawsuit, we, we, won't, we won't comment on okay. pending litigation, but I will tell you that Senator Lautenbach has uh, made it a mission of his to seek to do what we call, to de-unify what we call a unified bar. In Nebraska, you've got to be a member of the Bar Association to practice law. And this is by virtue of a court decision 75 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, shortly after the unicameral was formed. And uh, Scott believes that uh, his dues should not be used to support bar programs that are not specifically germane to, to its purposes. Right. We believe that the, the use of bar funds as we now use them are, are on programs that are germane. So we think that we are in compliance with all applicable uh, laws. The, uh, Scott has made a constitutional argument that use of bar funds for, for things that he does not specifically agree with uh, is a violation of his free speech rights, violation of the First Amendment. And so, uh, you know, we are defending that and we are uh, responding, we will be responding to that lawsuit and we're also engaged in a process with the Supreme Court uh, where Scott has petitioned for a rule change there as well. Uh, and We'll just see what happens, but we are firmly uh, behind the notion that we ought to remain a unified bar. Our fear is that if we are not a unified bar, then uh, there will not be a single voice speaking for the profession in the state, and that is uh, especially important to this part of the state because uh, if you're a voluntary bar, you're going to uh, be less likely to be addressing the mm -hmm. interests of the less populated areas of the state. The Nebraska Bar Association has yet to formally respond to the lawsuit, but they say that they disagree. Again, this is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com.